Hello everybody, welcome back to Rob's Random Reviews. This uh, review is going to be on Starfire from Injustice 2. Um, <clears throat> I did a video on her currently, it was when she first came out, but now she's level 20. This is her normal view here um, of Starfire, and this is my custom view, and I'm going to show you some facts you might not know about basically Injustice 2. The um, first thing you might not know about Injustice 2 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing this while the game's playing so if I pause it's because actually I'm probably going to skip all the scenes where um, she's doing anything like when they're talking and stuff like that unless you guys want to see it but I'm just going to start, start this here okay the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the first thing you the, um, the, the number one thing that you may not know about Injustice 2 is it has a hidden arcade mode which I could show you after I'm done battling through all these tiers but basically you have to go into the battle simulator and you have to hold on a second perhaps you are Titan's material you really think so let's start your audition begin all right anyway sorry I paused I just wanted you guys to hear the interaction so I probably will pause during the interactions Again, as I was saying, that there is a way to basically do an arcade mode like in all the other games. In all the other games, there's like arcade modes in like any fighting game you go. You can find out like the end of their, you, you battle through a couple battles, I think it's like five or six, and you, and you basically just learn their backstory, so to speak. And the way you do that is you go into the battle simulator in the multiverse, single player multiverse mode, and you basically just choose your character you want to and you battle through the first uh, mission in the battle simulator, through the five missions, and at the end you'll battle the CS appreciate it. Brainiac, and he will give you your ending basically. You defeat him and they give you a little cutscene and then it'll tell you the ending for that. So that's the first thing that most people don't know is there is an arcade mode. Number, the number two fact that you may not know about Injustice 2 is you can combo your opponents using the environment. So basically, once you get, like, uh, I think this stage here, if you get close to the right side of the stage, you can basically do, like, a really quick combo and do, like, a, uh, I think it's a hard, a heavy attack, and then you hit the person, like, four or five times, do a heavy attack, and you kick them through. It's basically a stage tran uh, a stage transition, if you want to call it anything. And I'm going to pause here in a couple seconds to let you guys hear the interaction between Starfire and the other characters, just because I kind of like their interacting. So get one minute here. How can you justify what you've done? I hate all creatures, great and small. Say that again, and I melt your helmet. Anyways, like I was saying, you can basically do like a super, like a, you just get them in the corner. Like in this stage, if you get them in the corner on the right hand side of the screen, you knock them through the barrier, and then it goes basically, he goes through the cages and everything, and then lands inside. It's basically, it's a stage transition, but basically, a lot of people might not know that because they just want to just battle straight out. And there's other things, like if you look at the, th the screen here, when she's up next to the bus, the, do the door of the bus will glow and you can actually pull the door off the bus and hit them with it, things like that. That's the second thing you may not know, but a lot of people do know that, but I'm just saying the interesting facts you may or may not know. Second, um, at the third you may not know is you can unlock gear and mother boxes without having to, you to actually play the game. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm not actually playing. I'm using my AI character, which I showed you. You hit the square button, and you go over, I think, four, and it has, like, custom uh, AI, AI 1 and custom AI 2. Basically, the how you do that is you go to this, the uh, multiplayer screen, go to customize AI, and basically just customize them the way you want the fight, the uh, costume you want. Like, I have Starfire and her blue one with her blue hair and everything. That was pretty cool. I uh, didn't get to see her ability but it was pretty cool she her um, ultimate move but yeah she is basically playing herself right now and basically what you do is you just let these characters go through like this tier here you let them just battle it out and you basically just push the x button when you need to and basically just to give your fingers a break like if you don't want to constantly be pushing buttons but that gives you mother boxes and gear depending on what tier you go through in the multiverse you, is what you get 
I considered you family, Diana. Would it be so hard to trust us again? Your gods would have to turn back time. Begin. But anyways, like I said, I'll pause during those things if it's an awkward sentence and I just stop in the middle of my sentence. I just like the interactions in the game, that's one of my favorite things. So, like I said, number three was basically you just let the AI do it for you. Play and they just will go through the tiers and basically this is how I get let you get a lot, like a lot of mother boxes. Number four thing you probably, that most people might not know, <clears throat> is getting premier skins without um, having to buy source crystals or pre-ordering the premier skins. All you gotta do is go through the story mode, and by the end of the story mode you have around about 5,000 source crystals, and mo <clears throat> the premier skins basically cost about 6,000, so you have to go through the story mode probably about, let's say about... 13 times to get every single one of your characters from your skin and that's how you do it you just basically go through story mode over and over and over uh, she didn't do a super move sorry I was stopped so you guys could see her super move but she didn't successfully do it anyways you basically just go through story mode over and over and over again and just keep playing until you get all your source crystals because you don't want to pay out of pocket money for that kind of thing and you don't want to and you don't want to Starfire wins. have to pre-order things all the time. So that's a good way to get it. Then also, once this cutscene here happens for you guys, I'll let you know the last two here. Come with me, Bane. And serve yet another alien. And serve time for your crimes. Anyways, that was a cool thing. <clears throat> but number five thing most people might not know about um, Injustice 2 is Starfire. Um, if you read... Hold on one second. If you give me one second, I'll be right back with the video. I'm just going to let you guys watch her play out for a little bit. Just enjoy watching her play out with Fight and Bane real quick. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of a battle. I had to go take care of my son, so I'll just occasionally I'll stop the video to do that. But like I said, Starfire, if you um, buy the Injustice in the Injustice 2 comic book, you'll get the backstory of this. But basically, she was locked in the Phantom Zone with Superboy and some other some other uh, superheroes. Because they were basically in his way, if you want to say anything. So that's an interesting fact you may not know. Don't you dare. The next thing you might not know, and the last one is number six. You can get the premier skin called Grid, which is uh, the basically it's the the whole it's basically Cyborg is a machine all machine um, but you can get him by linking your Injustice 2 PS Injustice 2 PS4 or Xbox One game with the app on your phone or like Android device and you can get him for free so you don't have to actually pay for him so that's all the interesting facts I have for you but I'm just gonna let you get I'm gonna basically just ramble on about some other stuff but Starfire's not too bad of a character. I actually like her. She's decently powerful. She's she's not like I I don't know what, how to say it, but she's not like um give me one second here with this video. What is the nature of your powers? Come over here and find out. Please, I thought Trigon and one. Begin. But yeah, she'll also make reference to her beating Trigon and stuff like that. Um, there's also an anime called um, The Justice League vs. Teen Titans, which her voice for this character of ti uh, this version of Starfire is not the one from like Teen Titans Go, but she's the one from the new anime. 
uh, Teen Titans vs. the Justice League, and there's another one, I think it's called the Judas Contract or something like that. But, like Victor in here, which is also known as um, Cyborg, he is played by his voice from the Teen Titans Go. Uh, my Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. Hold on a second, I'll let you guys watch this. I love that move, so I figured I'd let you guys watch that. That's her super move. Um, so, I might not do the pausing in all my videos, but I like to just let you guys look and hear some of the stuff that's going on in the game. So you're not like, what's going on? But, yeah, Victor or Cyborg is played by his counter, his voice counterpart from the original Teen Titans series on TV. On Cartoon Network, I believe it was. Um, I think there's... I don't know who else. I think that's it because it's getting hot in here. Here comes the wildfire. But the interactions between the two characters, all the characters are fun. But the game basically, like I was saying, has some of the familiar voices from the cartoons and the anime movies if you watch that. So, but basically what I'm doing now, like I said, is I'm actually in this video. I'm trying to basically get platinum mother boxes and you just keep basically playing and playing and letting either playing and playing and playing or letting your AI basically just beat the crap out of everybody. Pardon my French. Help me understand your fighting style. What style? Oh, now I get it. Begin. But yeah, there's funny interactions between people in this game. I love this game. This is the only like one of the only fighting games I've really gotten into in a long time. So, if you guys wonder why I stop and just like kind of let you guys see the video, the video, like the interactions, because it's kind of cool. That's kind of what makes this game unique. But I love the game. I have, I have every character up to level 20. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you do like the Injustice 2 game, you have to pick up the comics. I haven't picked them up yet because they're actually pretty expensive right now. But I'm going to do a couple other videos about this. But Starfire is like. I think like my maybe my favorite character if not she's like second or third I like her I like Supergirl Batman they're all pretty good I like Green Arrow because he's funny he has a lot of witty stuff to talk trash basically about other people and they make reference to like movies they make reference to games like other games during their, their uh, comedic back and forth basically but you letting your AI do these tiers and stuff is like the best way to gain money and mother boxes and rare gear and epic gears. Just let the AI do it and just relax. Basically watch it like a movie. It's actually cool. I have valuable wisdom to share. Isn't that precious? Watch the insults. Begin. But I love the game. Oh no. I haven't really, I mean, with, with Starfire, her hairstyle's kind of, I don't like the hairstyles much, but there are, I think, this hairstyle, and then there's one more hairstyle you get, like, it's more of like a combed down front look to her, but it's pretty sweet, and she's pretty powerful, my one friend who loves Batman and plays the game, he loves, 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 loves her because he was like a Batman, like a huge Batman friend, and now he's like all on board with her, which is kind of cool. And got a few minutes left in my video here, so I'm basically I'm thinking about putting more more music in my videos. Basically, my videos are raw and uncut. I do put them in um, a program to edit stuff like that. I just do it to like up the volume and down the volume, things like that. I'm gonna try to get into editing. A little bit more because I'm not too good at editing. So if you like the video, just let me know. Um, and then just like, comment, subscribe. Just give me some input. Uh, I'm new to the YouTube scene, so I'm probably going to end this video at this point here. Um, <clears throat> so this is Rob Drain Reviews is saying have a good day. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I can change. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what you guys want in in these videos so I can put out the content you guys want. I might also do some reviews on the random